fire marshal now working to find the cause of an early morning house fire in Grand Park. We've also learned that the two women who were inside of the house at the time are mother and daughter. Mm. So we have gotten to talk with a family. It is the daughter, apparently, who died in this fire. The mom was able to escape. She is being treated at the burn unit, was taken all the way to Gainesville Health in, a, in Gainesville, UF Health. So firefighters were called out. It happened about 1.30 this morning at the home on Rick and Backer Street. Channel 4's Chris Parento has been there since 4.30 this morning and talking with relatives and neighbors of the woman. In fact, he just spoke with the great-grandson who was also inside this house. Chris, this is such a tragedy for this family. An unbelievable tragedy for this family going through a lot this morning. What was told to me just about 10 minutes ago, the heart of the family is gone. That's how family members are taking this this morning. They have all now left the home, closed it up. They've gotten everything out that they were able to salvage from the flames. Many of these family members getting ready to head down to Shands Hospital in Gainesville to try to be with Betty Bostick, be by her side in any way they can to help her as she tries to recover I'm told by family members that she is in critical condition. Family members gave us these pictures of the two women. Martha Hartley, who I'm told just recently turned 60, she was killed in this fire. They say that Betty Bostick is her mother, and she is, again, in critical condition. Monty Bostick was here the entire time. He says that early this morning, he started to smell smoke, and he tried his best to find out where it was coming from. Eventually, he started seeing flames coming from the wall. That's when he first got Betty Bostick out of the house. He says he went back in to try to get Martha Hartley out. The flames had become so intense and the smoke so thick that he had to make multiple trips into and out of the house just for air so that he could breathe himself. He says by the time he was able to get back inside, it was too late. Eventually, he had to get out because of the flames. A fire caused by electricity somewhere in the walls. I tried my best to help my people get out, even when the fire was thick. very emotional young man family member saying this morning that he is a hero in all of this they say without his efforts going back inside into the flames initially to get Betty Bostick out of this house family members say she too might not have survived this fire live in Northwest Jacksonville I'm Chris Parento Channel 4 the local station